Hey everyone, Sam Kai here from Enterprise DNA. Now I want to show you here a really cool tip around how you can dynamically show how how say people customers move through groups over time, um, and you can do it visually with a unique slicer here. Okay, so this slicer here. So what I want to do is I want to say, okay, well I'm selected on a quarter. I've got all my revenue here, but just visually within this visualization, I want to see, okay, well, when I click this quarter, who are my top 20 clients? Then I, when I click previous quarter, I want to see, okay, who here last quarter were in the top, say 20 and two quarters ago, who were in the top 20 after that? Um, and this to me is a really compelling visual that was not possible not too long ago until they um, enabled some conditional formatting within the, the visual within charts. And now we can create some really compelling uh, looks uh, to visualizations and, and really use really unique ideas within our reports. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create these underlying calculations. So we've got this quarter, which is fine. That's just gonna be total revenue because we've got a quarterly filter here, all good. Okay, but we need to create previous quarter and two quarters ago. So how I'm gonna do that is very easy. I'm just gonna come up here and create a new measure. Okay, and I'll just go um, revenue LQ. I'll just do this relatively quickly. Total revenue, date add, date table, date column, and then I'm gonna go minus quarter. Okay, so that's why date add is such a, a good formula to use because it's just the, the flexibility to just really quickly change to any time frame and then I'm going to go copy that new measure again paste it in I'm going to go revenue two quarters ago and then I'm just going to go minus two here okay right so now we've got all the different um just i'll just show you so revenue last quarter so that's what the revenue was last quarter right now what i want to do is i want to create a ranking okay we needed we need to create a ranking formula that sort of says um that you know where, where someone is actually ranked right um so what i'm going to do i'm going to create one and i'm going to show you how we're going to roll it up into one calculation okay and then i'm going to go um here i'm going to go revenue period rank ranking right okay and then just to start things off i'm going to use rank x okay and i'm going to say um remember when you use rank x the key here is to go all and say because we need all of our customers right and go all customers and then i'm going to go the expression okay so my first expression is revenue okay so i'm going to go revenue like that then we don't need a value here and I'm just going to go descending okay now if I push uh, we're, going to, we're going to add to this in a second um, okay so you see here we've got we've got the ranking just like that okay but what I want to do is I want to embed it into this visualization so we're going to do a little bit more here okay so I'm going to I'm just going to use some variables I'm going to go var uh, first one is uh, this uh, current period rank so the great thing with variables is you can name them whatever you like then I'm going to copy this down twice I'm going to go last period rank and I'm going to go two periods two two ago period rank okay then I'm just going to input the different calcs that we just did right so I can go revenue revenue last quarter here and then I can go revenue two quarters ago here, right? Okay, then what I wanna do is match these up to whatever um, is selected in here, right? So we wanna go return, then we wanna go if, uh, actually we wanna go switch true, right? Switch true, switch. This is a better way to write um, if statements, switch true then down to a new row um, and then we need to go if selected value 
um, time frame, right? Time frame uh, is equal to this period. I think it was this period, wasn't it? This period. Then we want it equal to current period rank. Okay. So I'm just bringing a lot of elements together here. Um, and then I'm just going to copy this down. And then the bottom one here, we want this to be, so save, save nothing as selected, we want it to be that. So I just want to just double check what the names of these are before I update it. Because I just can't see. So this, so this quarter, previous quarter, and two quarters ago. Okay, so this quarter, pre, previous quarter, right, and then two, Go. Okay. So, what happens now when I select this, right? Maybe I need to select, uh, maybe that's sort of early on in the data set. Just want to make sure I'm getting a lot of the data. Okay, so there isn't a huge amount of data, right? Okay, so probably what we want to also do is make sure that um, actually I don't I don't know if it really matters. Um, let's just make sure that this doesn't ah, this is annoying. So this this should not. That's probably why there was a bit of an issue there. There should not be any relationship here. It's it's picked up because of the I didn't I didn't realize that at the time because there's an index in here and there's an index in here. It sort of thought there's a relationship. This really annoys me. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so you see here that no matter what selection the the key here is no matter what selection we make here, right? These these numbers aren't here shouldn't change. So they're staying the same, but these numbers should change. But then but they're not at the moment. So we need to we need to try and understand why. So if if the time frame is this quarter equal to ah we need to fix this right so current period rank and then we want to go last period rank and then we want to go here two periods ago okay let's see what this comes out with now okay so if I I select previous quarter um, Still no change. Let's just double check, double, double, double check our logic here. Previous quarter. Hold on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this into the DAX cleanup tool. Uh, I'm going to format it here and then I'll bring this to the side so I can compare while I'm actually looking at it. So, what have we got? Ah, I know why. I know why. It's because we don't have anything filtered here. That's what's that's what's tripping it up. So what we want to do is grab some date time frame because it doesn't. The last quarter calcs and the two quarters ago don't know how to work. Don't know how to operate. So okay. So now we've got say this quarter, right? This is what this total revenue value is. But if we want to see where these people are ranked last time, well, we just need to. Um, select previous quarter and then this ranking number is going to going to change for us right okay so why is two quarters ago two period ago should that oh that's not we haven't we haven't typed in the right one so it needs to be two quarters ago the name isn't matching up so it needs to be two here okay cool so we're almost there almost there so this is this is just uh, in terms of what you can do with um, the DAX cleanup as well. This tool is just awesome, right? Just so easy to come in here and copy your code out really, really quick and easy. Copy it back in, make sure it's all formatted correct. 
Okay, cool. Okay, so almost there. Now the last thing we need to do here, the last thing we need to do is come into the data color section here, right? And then we want to come into the conditional formatting area. We want to come to the rule section. Then we want to find that measure. Revenue period ranking, right? Okay, so if the um, value, say if the number is greater than or equal to one and is less than or equal to 20 then we want it to equal say this color okay new rule if it is greater than say 20 and less than let's put some arbitrary number in here 20,000 then we want this to equal okay yeah so a much lighter blue right and then what this is going to do is it's going to highlight within this visual right within this visual those customs okay so is this updating is this updating maybe it's taking a while i'm not sure let's just double check we got this right if the number is greater than ugh, sorry Miss, skip missing a beat a little bit there okay cool okay so now i can go previous quarter though right and look i'm still looking at the same numbers but i'm only i'm only going to have highlighted right the top 20 right in this particular case it doesn't really work because um you know maybe we got to do a bigger amount right maybe it's got to be not just 20 maybe it's got to be say the top 100 customers because this is, this is a big customer data set right so let's 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 maybe change these numbers to 100 or maybe or maybe 200 right because this is a this is a like an online retailer a lot of customers right so i'm still looking at current numbers but i'm flicking through here and able to see okay well this customer was in my top 200 um you know two like uh in my top 200 say um, two quarters ago and now uh, for example they're all the way down here so you know of note you know these customers were um, currently currently uh, currently two quarters ago in my top but are now sort of way down the bottom here okay and so visually we can be able you know use the um, you know a few different techniques here I've got a I've got a supporting table here which is determining what um, what sort of metric we're looking at then within the measure itself we are determining uh, what logic to use from our from our variables and then to finish it off we're using some conditional formatting right within the the visual itself to actually showcase some interesting insight so there's this is this is more inspiration for you right this is more inspiration i want to just get this out there so that you can be inspired around how you can do this there's so many different ways that you could actually use logic like this okay that's that, that's definitely the key takeaway okay that's all i want to showcase um if you like the content definitely throw the video a like appreciate it as always and uh, don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv okay take care